hey guys what's up so today i'm going to start with locator writing series and i will write each and every locators which you will use in the selenium and which is required for the selenium so before jumping into the locator writing series let me introduce about myself i come from mechanical background and i'm from bihar mazaffarpur i have my facebook page and youtube channel so you guys can subscribe my channel and like my facebook page and this is my github locations where you'll get all my source code and my java blog where you can read about the java and the core java programming where you'll have all the programs which is required for any interview right now let me start with uh, locator writing before uh, starting with that i will show you this is my playlist and here you have a filter so here you can select whatever you want to study right now we will start with locator writing and we will see that one by one how it works so let's say i want to write the object for this tab projects okay this is selenium hq site which is selenium community site where uh, we can download all the selenium jar files the same site i'm using it so here you have a project so how to write that just click on this and click on projects so i hope that you guys will have fire path and fire bug installed in your firefox because this is very important i'm using firebug to uh, locate the html so click on this click on this projects so here if you look at this is your html right this is your html we have uh, a href we have a title and we have a project so copy this html from here copy it and what we will do we'll come back to the eclipse we'll paste it here so this is the html right this is html this is html part of it what we will do for this html we will try to write the xpath and we will see that how many xpath we can write and how many css we can write so let me do one thing let me open with uh, other and any other editor we have uh, i'll uh, open with Let me open with HTML editor. Yeah. Uh, no, no such difference. So let me do one more thing. Let me just open it quickly. Uh, there. Okay. That's fine. Uh, we will work with this. So this is our HTML. How do we write the XPath for that? First, we need to understand what is the syntax of xpath. To write the xpath, we have to write double slash, which is nothing but a relative path, right? Then we need to write a tag name. We write a tag name at we write attribute name is equal to in single quote we write attribute value. So that's how we write xpath this is the syntax of the xpath now for this html we need to write the xpath so how do we do that uh, it's pretty simple we'll write slash a tag name right so a is the tag name then attribute name one we can use href so we can write at href is equal to in single code we can write this this is one xpath right this is one kind of xpath. The second xpath can be copy this, paste it here. See, here you have one attribute called title. So we can use the title here and you can write this Selenium projects. So this is your another xpath. Now, after writing the xpath, we will test that whether this xpath is working or not. So we'll copy from here. We'll come back to our Firefox. We'll go to the fire path and here we can test that just paste here and click enter button so you can see that this project is getting highlighted which means this xpath is working similarly we can test the other xpath also where we can copy this come back to the chrome and we can paste it here see this is also working right but the problem is with this xpath we are getting that two matching nodes so we should not use this kind of xpath so wherever you will not get unique element you should not go for this kind of xpath but this both the xpath is proper 
right i will tell you when you get more than one matching node how to handle that which we'll see going forward classes now this is the expert now how do you write a css for that css to write a css uh, it's pretty straightforward so when i say straightforward which means to convert xpath into css we can just copy this paste it here remove slash for css we do not require any relative and absolute path right and remove at this at is also not required this is your css in css we just write tag name attribute name is equal to attribute value name and if you test the css the css will work fine so come back here sorry not this come back here we can paste this we can change to the css and if you hit enter button you can see that it is saying that two matching nodes right so with this css we are getting two project matching nodes that is fine which means this css is working fine apart from that if i have to convert this xpath into css so let's say whenever you want to write the css for attribute name is equal to attribute value do not write this remove this at just you have to write tag name attribute name is equal to attribute value so let me test this css see only one matching node so this is working fine so we can conclude that this css is working fine and in fact we can give the syntax also we can just write tag name and we can just write attribute name is equal to attribute value so this both xpath and css is working fine for this html now we will see some other html so what we will do we will try to see for the downloads this is so go back to the html this is your download right so we have a download right? in the same way uh, we will copy this we will paste it here and for downloads we want to write the xpath and css so if you write xpath uh, we can write slash a and we can again copy this paste it here convert to a single code this is one x path this will work fine second x path is going to be we can take this title place it here and we can write get selenium this is another xpath we have to use at here without at your xpath will not work similarly if you want to write css copy this both right uh, we don't need this for css we can remove this and we can remove this so this is your css right so your xpath and css is ready for this download apart from that there is one more xpath which we can write here uh, one xpath we can write it here is we can write slash star or slash tag we can write contents text we can write contents text in single quote we can write a download so this will also work fine this xpath will also work fine so whenever you see text on the ui okay better go for this kind of xpath right contents text parenthesis comma download come back in the uh, fire path and here we can check our xpath so put it xpath here paste it here now click enter button see your download is getting identified but you are getting more than one download so that is fine that i will tell you how to handle it but you should know now how to write xpath so whatever text you see here right you can just write like this and this will work fine right similarly if we have to write for the documentation so if this we have to write so come back here click on the documentation right so this is our documentation so now i will do one thing now i will write xpath in some different way right so now i will go one parent up just to show you how we can go one parent up and we can write the xpath so copy this html now uh, come back this and we will paste it here so this is our uh, document xpath now how do we write xpath for that sometimes we do have a scenario where uh, we go one step up and we come down right 
so this you have a HTML hierarchy. Now to write XPath for that, what we can do here is we can write slash li at id is equal to a menu documentation, right? And we can write slash a. So the difference between this double slash and single slash is the double slash is a relative path, whereas a, yes, whereas the single slash is the absolute path, which means till li we are writing a double slash which means when we run the script you know it will look that path li is equal to at id many documentations and then after that we are making as a absolute path like after that follow the hierarchy which i am writing it this is one x path the second x path how we can write it here is instead of li usual practice we can follow this and we can write at href is equal to this convert to a single quote then we can remove this right the third we can write for the title as we know that we can write for the title so what we will do is we'll copy this we'll paste it here and uh, we can use this change to a single quote and the fourth what we can write always contains text because it is a text present on the UI so we can go for this contents text right similarly this is about xpath similarly how do we write a css the css pretty simple we can convert this but here you will get one syntax pro uh, here the css when we write let's say what we did from li we are coming to a right for the css when you want to come down you have to use angle bracket you have to write like this then only it will work otherwise it will not work right for the remaining attribute name and attribute value we don't have to do much changes but whenever we want to come down in the css we have to use angle bracket now let me test that control c uh, come to the fire path and we'll test that change here to the css and we will just test that whether it is working or not see it is working that so this css is working so that's how we write css in the uh, i mean we write a css when we want to come from parent to the down right so that's how uh, we write a css so with this i will close this video and uh, this all uh, the, the xpath and css i'm writing i'll make sure that you know it will go to my uh, git locations so that you know you guys can uh, take this code from my git locations so let me just add commit and push so that it will be available for you guys okay i think there is some issue uh, with my commit okay let me try one more time if not then i'll push it after some time Okay, it is asking for username and password. Okay. Yeah, so your locator will be a, and now it will be available to my git locations. And if you come here to my git locations, if you click on this repositories, okay, so you have selenium basic so click on selenium basic and in src test main java here you have a locator and you have xpath and css1 so here you have my xpath and css available here which you can take it from here so thank you guys thank you for watching this hope you like this video please hit like button and subscribe to youtube channel thank you once again